Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for Silhouette Basics. In this video we're, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Silhouette Studio and Silhouette Studio is the program that allows your actual Silhouette machine to cut and run. But before I give you the brief overview of the different tools that are available I should start off by saying that there are actually more than one or is more than one version of Silhouette Studio. At the time of filming this video there are four common versions of Silhouette Studio that you may encounter. The first one is the free or the standard edition that is available on the Silhouette America website for download and also is the version that comes for free with your machine. The next version up, which is actually the more common one it seems, is Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. The Designer Edition allows for you to use SVG files, which is why most people upgrade to that version. The four, third version is Silhouette Studio Designer Edition Plus, which is actually the version that I'm using here. You can see it listed at the top of my screen. This one allows the same things as the Designer Edition Plus, a couple of more features, mostly to do with using a few more file extensions like embroidery files. And then there's the Business Edition. And the Business Edition is really geared towards people who are advanced users and they're using more than one machine essentially to cut out multiples or to run multiple machines. Most often the people that I know who run the business edition are either making samples of products or 3D models of products or they make stickers for the, the planner communities that you see online for Etsy. But anyways, this is what all versions for the most part of Silhouette Studio look like. Now, occasionally when you're looking at videos, you may see that it's a different color. And the way you change the color of your screen is this arrow in a circle in the bottom right hand corner where it says change theme if you hover your mouse. If you click it, it will actually go from gray to teal back to white, depending on what color scheme you prefer. So even if you see someone using a different color, it doesn't necessarily mean they're using a different version of Silhouette Studio. Now we have a couple of different bars going on on the side. Uh, down the left hand side, these are generally referred to as your drawing tools. So you'll be able to draw lines, squares, ellipses, polygons, using pencil tools, add text, erase, cut, and some of these options are only available on more advanced versions of Silhouette Studio. You may not see these on the standard edition as well as access to your library of files and the online store. Additionally, there's two options here, and these confuse people sometimes. These are the split screen options. So for example, if I was in my library where I was looking at my different shapes, I could also click here to see my cutting mat at the same time. So that's all that these two buttons down here do. Across the top are your typical options that you would see in any program like even Microsoft Word and that's for you to to save for you to send something to the printer for you to send it directly to the machine zoom in and out and to move things around typically you don't spend a lot of time with this top bar with the exception of this one which opens a new page for you and when you're working with multiple pages they will appear at the bottom of the screen and you'll have different tabs where you can go between the different pages that you're working on now this top area here is really geared towards manipulation. So up here, you'll be able to manipulate anything that you've drawn using these tools on the left hand side. So here you can use the bucket to fill a shape with a color. So for example, if I was to draw a shape on my mat, select it and then select the bucket, I would be able to fill the bucket, the shape using the bucket tool with a color. Same thing here with gradient or patterns now that you can buy patterns or you can use patterns that come with your machine or that you find online. Additionally, there are different rhinestone tools which you can use for garments and such and your rhinestone and sketch tools that are located within this bar here are different depending on which version of the Silhouette Studio program you're using. The next bar over are your line tools and your line colors. Generally, you won't be working with these unless you're doing print and cut files or you're doing more advanced stuff in, with a Silhouette Cameo 3 or a Curio where you actually have different tools so you need to set different line options. Continuing down the line, there's an option for you to change your text to a different font. You can rotate an image around 
various degrees by using these menus here. You can also scale or change the size by using this specified dimensions option. So clicking this will allow you to shape up and down, or excuse me, size up and down your image. And as you click apply, it will change shape. But you can also do this by grabbing the handles. As you continue down the line, you'll see other options such as shearing, aligning, so that you can align two shapes together so that they're even and setting up things like your page options, tracing, registration marks, cut and print, or excuse me, print and cut. So the, the top toolbar here is really for manipulating what's already on your mat. And these items over here are for putting something on your digital cutting mat. So that is your quick overview and introduction into Silhouette Studio. If you have any questions, you can leave them for me down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.